Welcome to the presentation of the 2017-2018 school system calendar. 24 individuals participated in this year's calendar committee, which met on October 14th. The committee was comprised of teachers, school and county level administrators, as well as parent and student representatives. The committee was divided into two subcommittees, each with a specific focus the frequent flyers, and the surfers. The frequent flyers sought to have lengthier breaks during the school year for those wishing to travel. The surfers sought to create a calendar option with minimal breaks during the school year with the purpose of having an early last day of school. The two options were presented to the Board of Education at its November board meeting. Following the board meeting in November, a survey was conducted to gather feedback from all stakeholders regarding the proposed calendars. The survey window began in early December and closed on Friday, January 27th. The survey was conducted online and was publicized using our website, social media tools, and by utilizing our school messenger notification system. The survey received 1,103 responses. Respondents were once again comprised mainly of parents and employees, which accounted for 94% of all responses. 2% of responses came from members of the community, and 5% came from students and bus contractors. Once again, this year's survey illustrates diversity in the regions responding. As you can see in the pie chart on the right, representation across all schools and regions within the county is fairly even. Results from the survey indicate a clear majority of respondents preferring calendar number one, or the frequent flyers calendar. This calendar received 660 votes, or 60% of the total votes received. Calendar number two, or the surfers, received 443 votes, or 40% of the total vote. Respondents were also given the option to leave additional feedback through an open-ended question. 129 written responses were received, and they have been analyzed and categorized in the shown categories. Those giving general, positive comments on the calendar options we've provided, those requesting less professional development days or the use of half days for PD instead of full days, those requesting an extended winter break with the use of January 2nd named specifically, and finally those who have advocated the school system petitioning the state to re-examine the 180-day requirement in light of the governor's executive order. Incorporating all of the survey and open-ended feedback, the superintendent has recommended the adoption of calendar proposal number one, or the frequent flyers calendar, with slight modification. Highlights of this proposed calendar include a first day of school for students on September 5th, the countywide PD day, originally scheduled for October 23rd, has been changed to a half day for students on Thursday, October 19th, with teachers receiving professional development in the afternoon. This change enables winter break, which now begins with a half day for students on December 21st, to be extended through January 2nd. Spring break will be March 29th through April 2nd, and the tentative last day of school is June 15th. As always, the last day of school is contingent on whether or not the three inclement weather days built into the calendar are utilized. 